Teachers Union President Randy Weingarten under fire again. A newly released email to members show her criticizing efforts to end critical race theory. She writes in part, the real agenda of the right, as Betsy DeVos, Christopher Rufo, and others make clear, is the demise of public schools and the fracturing of our neighborhoods. Here to react is former university professor and the author of Black Eye for America, How Critical Race Theory is Burning Down the House. It's Dr. Carol Swain. Dr. Swain, great to see you this morning. Merry Christmas. We're grateful Merry for some Christmas of your time. Merry Christmas to you. Thank you. Well, you heard there what Randy Weingarten has to say about the demise of public schools. She's blaming those, not unlike yourself, who have criticized critical race theory. What do you say? Well, they do have a problem because they have been exposed. And so she's blaming the people that are actually fighting for our children. And we were people, Chris Rufo, James Lindsay, uh, among others, who have been out front educating the American people. But what I'm proud of is that parents organize. They gather information, and they're fighting back, not, ag not just against CRT, but also against, you know, critical queer theory, critical feminist theory, all of these things that have infected the classroom and taken teachers away from teaching academics towards teaching social justice. And so our children are falling further and further behind children of other nations. And they also have many mental is issues. Uh, suicide rates are high among children. And there's a desperation. And so we are out there trying to save public schools rather than destroy public schools. And no the doubt. parents who see how bad it is, they are yanking their kids often out of the schools. You're right. It's easy to blame you or Chris Rufo. But what do you say to all those parents that are showing up at school board meetings, having seen what their children are learning? We don't have a ton of time, but I do want to ask you this. You brought up the different types of critical theory. It's not just critical race theory, as you as you point out. What does that mean for the viewers at home? What is critical theory? Well, critical theory uh, is rooted in Marxism, and it's all about destroying traditional ways of life and replacing it with something else. And so it always creates conflict. It always destroys. It's not about educating our children or making a better society for racial and ethnic minorities. And critical race theory argues that white people are oppressors, minorities are victims. Critical queer theory focuses on the relationships between homosexuals and heterosexuals. All heterosexuals are seen as oppressors. Critical feminist theory, all men are oppressors, all women are victims. Right. These are theories that are uh, infecting our schools and it's affecting our young uh, boys and males. And so it is just right. as serious as critical race theory. And parents are seeing all this and they're seeing the sexualization of their children through books that are in the library and through comments made by teachers and teachers who use their lifestyles as a way to push the indoctrination on our children. Yeah, divide us into identity politics and then define everything as oppressor and oppressed. There's critical theory defined by Dr. Carol Swain. By the way, we love having you on Christmas morning. Would you mind sharing with us some of your favorite Christmas memories or traditions? Well, I grew up in the rural South uh, in a large family, and so we did not have money for Christmas gifts. And my memories are of us going out into the woods uh, cutting down our own tree, making paper ornaments and stringing together popcorn. And Christmas morning, we got an orange, nuts, candy, uh, plenty of food on Christmas Day. And so my mother had very little uh, to give her children, but uh, we loved Christmas. I still uh, love Christmas, and it's my mother's favorite holiday. Well, we are blessed to have you with us this morning on Fox and Friends and appreciate your time. Merry Christmas, Dr. Carol Swain. Merry Christmas to all.